Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Jerry Harris and we are at Jerry Williams Stables and I am with Xavier Berry. Now this young lady is going to work on Sir, a Tennessee walking horse, four years old, and uh, she was going to tell you exactly what she's going to do. Now Xavier, how are we going to do this? So I usually start from head and I go all the way to the tail. I do a quick once over. I do a little bit of massage and a little bit of Cairo all in together. Um, but first I'm just going to start off with feeling him over, seeing where he's sore, seeing where he's tight and then going from there. All righty. If you will talk us through exactly what you're sure. doing. So I'm just rubbing through his top line muscle, just feeling if he's tense or tight. And if he's, he might show me a little bit of tension and then sometimes there will be a really big release. Usually he'll move his lip a little bit. Sometimes the ears will move. Sometimes a big sigh will happen. But as of right now, he's not really sore on the top line of his neck. I'm gonna move down to his withers. Not much of a reaction. He's not twitching back here at all. Well, the good part is we've already did this once. Yeah. And he's pretty soft through his hips area and he's not twitching anywhere on this side. Last time I worked on him, he was a little bit sore towards the top of his pole, but today, He's a little sensitive there. You see how he turned his head towards me? He's just a little sensitive. Then I'm gonna work my way down. And I like to watch his body language while I'm doing this. Sometimes if they're really sore, they'll have a big reaction and move away from me. Sometimes it can be really quick. Sometimes it can be slow. Check his chest and his pectoral muscles. Oh, he's pretty good in there. How about shoulders? He's not tight, which is good, but he definitely likes the massage. You can see how his head slightly drops down a little bit and his lips starting to twitch. Check the rest of his back by his withers. Well, who's getting relaxed? You can tell that. Yeah, <laughs> his head's coming down a little bit. I did find a small sore spot from last time. He has his hip flexors are a little sore. But there's a lick and chew. That means he likes this spot. Good boy. His top line is pretty good. All right, let's check the hamstrings. A little tight there. Yep. I'll get it. It's amazing the way he reacts to what you're doing. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and it's actually really cool because you can feel when the muscle starts to relax in your hands and it warms up in your hands, which is really, really nice. And he's relaxing right into it. Good boy. His eyes are nice and soft now. He's actually resting a foot for me because he knows I'm going to this hamstring next. Mm -hmm. It's actually easier if they rest it, but it's okay if they don't. Oh boy. Yep, is that the spot? All right, good boy. He's twitching his nose, so he's liking that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Good boy. I love his reaction when she does that. <laughs> How about shoulder? You tighten here. Usually, especially with Tennessees, it's a little bit trickier because they use their front end a lot, but you can stick your whole hand behind their shoulder. And he's a little tight through here, but... Good boy. <laughs> now I'm just going to pick up a foot, hold it for a second, and I'm going to stretch out his chest. That's just stretching him. Yeah, that's just stretching him. Before I get into the Cairo, I like to make sure that they're nice and loose before I start cracking anything. Because you know, if, with humans, if you crack something when you're tense and tight, it hurts. <laughs> so we don't want no pain. We want them to like this. Start with your legs. Doesn't have a whole lot needing to be popped today, but. And then sometimes horses will have a big reaction to a pop. So after that, I just rub on them after. So they're not nervous about the next one. I'll pick up a back foot. Good oh boy. Check his range of motion. I'll stretch him a little bit before I pop. Good boy. Good boy. He likes this side stretched. <laughs> yeah, he likes that. can't believe how relaxed he, he just standing there. <laughs> just, he might be calling you up. <laughs> That's our spot. Okay. Yeah, you're going to push into me now? <laughs> Good boy. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> sometimes when you hit a sore spot, the reaction is ow, 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 and then it gets, oh, that feels actually really good. <laughs> mm. 
and you can see he's kind of pushing into me a little bit because if I take off the pressure he wants more of it <laughs> And then what I like to do is I go through the stomach and just do a quick little massage through the stomach. Some horses might not like it, but Sarah likes it a lot. <laughs> As you can see, he's not pushed down anywhere. He's nice and soft, which means nothing's hurting him on his back. All of his ribs are in place. His hips are good. I like to do a full check back here. No soreness anywhere. Hamstrings are clear. No soreness there. And I just like to use my fingertips press no soreness perfect now the fun part is doing the next <laughs> he's a good boy he's pretty easy but i like to start low and not towards the head but it's for me buddy he's got he needs a little bit of adjustment through here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press just below the spot, try and turn his head. He's going to pick it up just a little bit because he doesn't want to do it, but that's okay. I'll make it quick. Cool. That's okay. I know it's a sore spot. Ooh. Yeah, he kind of he got into that one. <laughs> yeah, it popped a few times actually, because I can feel it in my hands. And I go just above the oh boy. I heard that one. <laughs> yeah. And then I do the other side, just so it's even. Oh boy. Yep. Good boy. Ooh. I got a funny feeling if he wasn't enjoying it, he'd done <laughs> he'd done bolted and oh, run. Oh yeah, he would have let me know either from biting or running away or even kicking. <laughs> Yep, that's a spot. Good boy. Ooh. Yep. Good boy. No soreness there. Good boy. Last time I worked on him, he was a little bit sore in his pole. Luckily, I'm tall. <laughs> so I just reach underneath, feel the top of his pole, feel those vertebrae. I got one. How's this side? Yep. Did I get it? Yep. Good boy. And then I do my full body check again to see if there's any soreness after I've cracked him and done my Cairo. Doesn't seem to be. He's not tense. If anything, he wants scratches. Good. No soreness there. Back's still clear. 
hips, good. Hamstrings, good. Hamstrings, good boy. Well, he's enjoying himself. <laughs> well, that was a big sore spot. Since that was a really big sore spot, I'm just going to work on this area a little bit more and try and relax the muscles around it. Sometimes they'll turn their head into me or press into me when it feels really, really good in a sore spot. Yeah, he's a looking cheap. Good boy. Yeah, he's liking that now. Good boy. And no sore spot. Perfect. So that's basically what I do. And he really liked that. He enjoyed that a lot. Oh, he is. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. But you can tell he was enjoying it. I, yes. I was hearing some of them bones pop myself. Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Xavier Berry. And I will uh, tell you right now, get her to come to your place. Your horses will love it. Ain't that right, boy? Oh, boy. I